Howdy folks, Josh here with the Weekend Angler out on the Lake of Egypt today. And uh, the water temperature is pushing 50 degrees in most areas of the lake, which means these bass are getting ready to spawn. And uh, we're going to be targeting bass today that are uh, in the pre-spawn area that are uh, probably 8 to 10 feet of water. Uh, we're going to be looking at a lot of docks, a lot of rocky bottoms. And uh, we're going to be using a technique today called a Ned Rig. Uh, you guys have seen me fish with a shaky head before. It's a very similar technique. Uh, imagine a Ned Rig as a downsized shaky head. So stick around, we'll show you how this is going to work. Alright guys, I'll show you the difference what we're running here. Uh, this is a shaky head that I was fishing a few weeks ago out here. Uh, this is a quarter ounce flat bottom football headed shaky head. Uh, and I've got this rigged up with a uh, Z-Hog Junior pumpkin, watermelon red color. Now, this is a Ned Rig, this little bitty guy here. Uh, I'm using the Z-Man Elastec baits. I really like these for these Ned Rigs and I'll show you uh, Another thing I like, I use their Z-Man Shrooms hooks. Get this up there. They've got a little keeper on them, help keep that bait on there. And you're looking at just a little mushroom head uh, jig head. This one here uh, weighs about a fifth of an ounce. So we'll get this down there. Just pushed on there. These Elastec baits. The last tech material that Z-Man uses on their uh, on their TRDs is uh, some tough material. You'll get several, several, several fish out of these, and they say that the uh, more torn up they get, the more the fish bite. But uh, you know that's a marketing technique. I don't know that that's to be true. Uh, once they get tore up, the fish don't seem to want them no more. I put a new one on, but they're cheap enough, and they do work. We're just going to start working these docks. And uh, this net rig is a very versatile rig. You can uh, you can throw this down here. You can reel it back real slowly and just kind of swim it. You can also uh, drag and dead stick it. You can hop it. Uh, it's up to the bass who what what they're going to want to respond to. Um, we'll start uh, we'll start out. I like to do I like to reel just like I would a shaky head and just kind of drop those down there, twitch them a little bit, let them sit drag them about a foot, twitch them, let them sit, and uh, see if we can get something moving that way. Uh, lots of boats out here this weekend. Uh, it's actually a Friday, but this lake is full of boats. There's a tournament this weekend. And we got two boats trying to leave this neck at once, and I'm right out here in the middle. So uh, I'm going to try to get us out of the way. Actually, the downfall of this lake. This lake is is really total about it. This tournament fish too much. So what, so what that means is uh, the fish in this lake. They've seen every jig. They've seen every crankbait, spinnerbait. Now, I'm not saying you can't catch them on this lake at that. And guys, they they care about that here tournament something. But uh, what I found and what started working for me out here is if you start working with a finesse technique, uh, A, I don't think a lot of people are using it, and uh, B, it presents a lower profile in the water, and those bass don't feel as threatened by that. They uh, feel more apt to uh, take a bite of it. Uh, guys, you don't have to set, set the hook real hard on these. This has uh, got an ex exposed hook, as you can see. And uh, what I do, I set my drag. This is a 10 pound suffix braid in the uh, neon orange color. And I've got that going up to a uh, 12 pound four carbon leader. I've got those tied together. I set my drag a little on the loose side. And when I feel that fish pick it up, I just kind of lift my rod tip, let him take the slack out of the line and I just reel down on him. Usually about that point he feels that hook, he'll pull, 
It's just like fishing, catfishing with a uh, circle hook. Once he pulls, he's going to set the hook on himself. Nine times out of ten, uh, guys, I've never really had to uh, snap set a hook on this, but uh, you know, it uh, seems like they pick it up on. Them. Start working these docks over here. And, uh, see if we can't get some, uh, see if we can't get some action. The uh, water's a, you know it's a little windy out here today, and the water's very active. So I don't know uh, what we're going to be fighting as far as waves, but uh, we'll see if we can make something happen no matter what. Not a huge fish by any means, <laughs> but we're not going to get skunked today either. Hooked him right in the side of the mouth. Aggressive male, large mouth, little bitty guy. Uh, he's got some marks up there on his gill plate. But uh, there are fish in this lake. See you, buddy. So, where there's one right now, there's usually more than one. And he just bent it down. As you saw, I didn't lift up. Just reeled down on that, let him pull some drag. He was out in front of this dock. There's a much better fish. Well, not much better. Another short bass. Get the tip up off that dock.
right guys, tough day out on the water today, but we did manage a couple of bites and uh, lost one right there at the end, but uh, nothing of any size to it today. But the water has just now started to warm up, so those uh, larger fish may not have moved up from their uh, winter haunts yet. But uh, I'd imagine in the next two to three weeks, you're really going to see this lake catch fire and uh, start seeing some size to the fish up there. But uh, guys, I hope I showed you how the uh, Ned Rig works. Uh, showed you a couple different techniques and uh, how to uh, make that work for you. It's a very good uh, technique for highly pressured waters, especially you know like this lake is here. I, I use it a lot out here. Uh, it's something that'll produce in the winter. It's something that'll produce in the summer. It's all just a matter of uh, how you fish it. So, guys, as always, thank you for watching my videos. Uh, hit that like button, share it, subscribe, and uh, let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you do have any questions, uh, post them down in the comments. Be happy to try to get them answered for you. I'll post a link to the uh, uh, lures we were using today. Uh, down in the uh, description of this video so you guys can go get those if you're looking for them and uh, hopefully i'll be able to help you out and hopefully this is something that uh, you can use on your home waters to put more fish in the boat so guys until next time we'll catch you out on the water appreciate you watching the weekend day.